Hey friends, I want to welcome you to the How to Print Bags webinar. I am here. My name is Dave from Transfer Express. I've been in the decorated apparel industry for well over a decade now. I think coming up on 12 years uh, soon, but uh, every pretty much any way you could put substrate on any fabric or, or ink on any substrate or any fabric. I've been there and done it from offset printing, sticker printing, digital wide format, sublimation, and of course, screen printing, direct to garment, any way you could do it. And now heat transfers. I love heat transfers because it allows anybody to achieve those same results that used to cost uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars or uh, years or months of learning how to screen print. I learned how to screen print on my kitchen table, spraying out stuff in my bathroom uh, and spraying out the screens. And it was just messy. It took a whole bunch of setup, took a long time to be able to learn how to screen print. And it just made it so much easier when I got to the heat transfer world, the Plastisol screen printer transfer, specifically goof proof, looks, feels, washes, and wears just like a traditional screen printed shirt. Uh, and all you need is a heat press. You could essentially run a full apparel decorating uh, business with the capabilities of a much larger shop from your garage, uh, basement, a uh, spare bedroom, anywhere. Uh, you don't need these huge setups, dryers, or commercial equipment. All you need is a heat press. Order everything on demand. It's super low investment, low risk, but I absolutely love it. But that's a little bit about me. Of course, we have Mike in the chat section over on the right-hand side. You'll see him show up as Stalls Transfer Express. And Mike is behind the scenes answering your questions. If I can't get to it, I'm going to try to keep us right around an hour today. Um, and so I'm going to stay focused a lot on our stuff here. But like I mentioned, uh, guys, that chat section is for you to put your questions in there. And this entire webinar is built to help you and your business get better. You guys are already sitting here with me on a Thursday afternoon. So you are, I know you're dedicated to helping yourself and your business, always looking to add some inspiration or education to your repertoire, to your, uh, your toolbox, if you want to pull that analogy in. And I'm very excited to be joined with you today. So let's just dive right in here um, and, and be able to print some bags. Now, bags are an absolutely awesome thing to add to your t-shirt business. So, I mean... It's not just t-shirts. It could be bags. It could be hoodies. I know. I mean, we usually say like t-shirt business or apparel decorating, but these accessories are huge profit opportunities if you know what market to target and what bags they're going to need. And if you're going to position any marketing uh, to your customers, you want to hit that nail right on the head. Uh, and I always like to say marketing is like a you're playing darts, right? If you just just say say the dartboard's over that way and I just look at you in the eye and I throw that dart, it's going wherever it's going. And that's that's not the way you want to market. You want to look at your target and try to focus on that target and try to hit it. You're going to be much more likely to hit your target if you know what you're aiming for. So that's why some of this stuff in here in this webinar is going to be super powerful if you just look at the audience you're trying to target and position the offering to them. Uh, if you're trying to sell a tote bag like this one to a uh, commercial client, maybe a tech company or a tech startup or something like for some remote worker gifts for the holidays or something, this it's not going to be not going to be the, the best thing. So you're going to want to show them the correct things, um, you're, you're the correct products, the correct transfers, the correct artwork in there. Um, we're also going to talk about choosing the right product or transfer type uh, for the specific garment that you're going to be printing. I say garment, but I should have said fabric uh, of these tote bags because they do vary and you don't want to damage them. You want them to be absolutely stellar prints uh, that look fantastic. So some of these bags that we're going to talk about are going to be a little heat sensitive and I'll identify some of those bags for you. And maybe you're going to hit an elementary school or a craft market or something that's going to be using some canvas totes and you don't even have to worry about any of that. Uh, aside from choosing the right transfer type, we're going to talk about creating and sizing artwork and doing that uh, appropriately for the limitations of the print area on the bag. Some of those bags, especially when we talk about like belt bags or fanny packs or something like that. Fanny packs is so, so it makes it, it I feel like it, we're in the 90s when I say fanny pack again, but they came back around their back in popularity uh, was just when I was out in Las Vegas, tons of people wearing fanny packs. Uh, so they are back in style, apparently. I, I don't know if I would ever wear one. Actually, I did wear one this year, so <laughs> I'm already already getting behind myself here. <laughs> but we're here having fun, right? And learning. That's the important things. Um, but so creating and sizing artwork appropriately for the, the specific product that you have. And of course, the product limitations of your equipment. If you have a smaller size heat press, uh, make sure you're sizing to that. You can. We actually did a video on the YouTube of being able to print 
like oversized prints, but it does add a, another element and in a larger run that could take a lot of time and you could possibly spoil some garments. So uh, you're kind of reducing that profit margin. We want to make sure that you're able to print efficiently and be profitable doing so. So uh, that's something that we'll talk about here with creating and sizing artwork. And then of course, some application tips, maybe using that 360 IQ. I don't want to spoil the fun later in the uh, webinar here, but uh, talking about using some different uh, platens and uh, some some tips and tricks for being able to get a awesome, perfect application every single time on the uh, on whatever style of bag that you're choosing to use. So let's jump right into it. Let's see some of these bags. Uh, I see Tara already says recommendations for learning more regarding regarding designing and formatting. Um, we do have, uh, I see Mike already answered, we have a lot of videos on YouTube that help with that. Um, but if you are using Photoshop or Illustrator, if you're using Illustrator, I always recommend uh, outlining everything. So outlining those fonts, changing them from being live type. So none of the fonts drop out when you're uploading. Uh, depending on the transfer type that you're designing in, you should format those ink colors to CMYK if you're doing full color, because that's what we're going to convert them for. And we don't want any surprises down the road of uh, those super, super vibrant RGB values that kind of look a little bit more muted with CMYK. You could probably select a CMYK value that does look just as vibrant uh, within the gamut of colors that CMYK could replicate of that RGB. But uh, you could essentially just set up your artboard in either Photoshop or Illustrator, your canvas in Photoshop, but essentially you could just set up your artboard to the sheet size. So say you're ordering Goofproof. Standard size sheets are 11 and a quarter by 14 inches. So set up, and you can find all this information on transferexpress.com, don't need to be taking notes or anything, but essentially you could set that up uh, in Photoshop or Illustrator, export as a PDF or a TIFF or whatever format you want, AI files or PSDs, depending on what program you're using, import perfectly fine. The only caveat that I wanna say uh, is if you are using CorelDRAW, a CDR file is not going to read in uh, the best. So we always recommend just save out as save or export as a PDF. And then it'll be able to read back into the Easy View Online Designer system perfectly fine. You can change colors, resize it, do all that stuff uh, if you're uploading just specific pieces of artwork. And the same if you don't just set your artboard to that sheet size and gang sheet yourself, you could just upload individual images and elements and use the Easy View Online Designer to be able to arrange those. So just like that, thank you for asking that, Tara. Um, and yes, for everybody else, everybody else uh, that that we are here to help. So any questions like that, just let us know. I'll answer it if I uh, if I have time or I see it. Uh, if not, Mike is there moderating that chat and he's going to be able to do that. Uh, Janae says, question, do we know what size transfer needed for a different size shirt? Uh, I usually say no. Just keep the same size across everything uh, from adult smalls or adult extra smalls all the way up to the largest size on the order. For several reasons, you just don't want to be dealing with changing everything. And especially if it's for like a team or a family and they're going to all line up and take a picture in that same shirt. It looks a little weird when certain people's designs are smaller, even if they're like they're uh, wear different size shirts. Uh, it looks weird when they're not all uniform. So keep it uniform, size it to the smallest shirt on the order. And the only thing I'll say on that is youth sizes. Youth sizes, you usually have to stay within nine inches or so, uh, which could look a little small on like an adult extra large. So uh, you may want to separate youth and extra and adult sizes. However, if it's like one youth size, don't buy one image just for that. Get the full quantity break for all of the sizes. And that one youth shirt just might have a little bit larger print on it. Uh, but but that's that's going to be it. Uh, Jenna, um, for 11 inches is typically what we say. 11 inches for adult sizes looks great on adult extra small all the way up to like three or four X, 11 inches, which is uh, about here for me. So uh, it, it's it's going to stay on the front of the shirt regardless of uh, of the size of the person. Just because, uh, I mean, I wear a size extra large and you can't really see me all too well, but um, you, you have to account for the depth of the person where you're going to get deeper before you get wider. Uh, and so when you're talking about the front of the t-shirt, the front stays mainly on the front of the t-shirt. Uh, but yes, so this is our agenda. We are going to dive right into it. Let's talk about some different kinds of bags and backpacks. So backpacks right off the bat. These are perfect for schools, corporate gifts, or any travel groups. So if you have like a travel agency or something that's maybe a client or you're looking to pitch a travel agency, some of these backpacks or something like that would be absolutely fantastic to offer them. Now, uh, they are 
quite inexpensive uh, in terms of certain brands. As you can see here, the bottom of this, Port Authority is one of the best brands from Sanmar. Absolutely love them. And they're available on transferexpress.com in the wholesale apparel section. So you don't need a tax ID or a business license or anything to order. Anybody could order that wholesale apparel from transferexpress.com. Now these backpacks like this one right here, this is an ultra color max print on this. Uh, so because it is that denier polyester, uh, usually it's that little bit coarser weave of that durable uh, fabric. So as long as you're under 290 degrees, uh, that you're going to be A-OK. -okay. I mean, I would say even under like 340 degrees most of the time, this polyester is high quality. But with a lot of polyester, you get what you pay for. So the cheaper polyesters have a tendency to be a little bit more heat sensitive than the higher quality stuff. I don't want to use that as a blanket statement for everything because sometimes those more premium fibers uh, and the premium fabrics that those higher end brands use also are heat sensitive. So don't use that as a as an even and flat flat rule. Um, just just keep in mind that you may have to do some testing. Now, when you're printing anything you've never, never printed before, I always recommend testing a small portion of it. So a little tiny, small corner, maybe just taking that bottom pouch of this backpack uh, or maybe like the side of it. So you're not going to fully ruin it, uh, but try to fit it on and adjust the pressure accordingly. If you're raising the print area or moving it smaller, um, I'm sure Mike has a link to that pressure guide when we get to it uh, in a little bit. But we actually have this great guide. Uh, essentially breaking down the different pressures that you need to change when you're reducing the print area. But we're going to talk about a whole bunch of different platens later, uh, and we could we could talk more about that then. But essentially, we want you to be able to put uh, put the 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 transfer or test the fabric to make sure number one the heat's not going to damage it, and then number two that the uh, transfer is going to adhere to it. Now polyester, a lot of our transfer types here at Transfer Express are A-OK -okay to be able to print on this polyester. Uh, everything from goof proof, if it you could get down, goof proof on polyester will apply at 325 degrees. So you could get down to that uh, below that heat sensitive range on many of these polyester bags. Uh, however, something like Elastoprints or the Ultra Color Max, Ultra Color Softer Stretch Pro uh, that applies at that 290 degrees is going to be a little bit safer. So uh, if you have the bag, just test starting low and then bumping up. So if it's 290 and it's not scorching and it's A-OK, -okay, safe, perfect. Then you know it's going to be fine for a transfer type getting 290 degrees on it. Uh, as you go up higher and higher on the temperature, if it could still take it, that's fine. And you've cleared the way and greenlit whatever transfer type you want to use. But I always recommend uh, recommend testing. Kathy's here. See Kathy joining us in the chat. Uh, no need to apologize, Kathy. I was talking about how we met in Fort Worth which was fantastic. It was great to get down in Fort Worth because we have the Impressions Expos coming right back on up. Gabe, for 290 degrees, um, it's going to change depending on what transfer type that you have. So always follow the instructions that come with your transfer type. That goes to any product that you are heat applying, whether it be sublimation. Always defer to whatever sublimation paper or inks or whatever you're using. Defer to the instructions that they give you. No heat transfer is created equal. And even the heat transfers from Transfer Express apply at different temperatures and times. So say for Ultra Color Max at 290 degrees, uh, it is a 15 second press. So uh, just, just depending on the transfer type. So for the sample, um, let's, uh, let's go on through. Tiffany, uh, if you need help for the first time, uh, I, don't, uh, I, I don't have the availability to be on phone calls. Uh, we do do consultations with our sales team and business development, as well as you could call Transfer Express at any time. We have an entire staff of customer service that are, number one, very happy and cheery. I was just talking to our customer service manager the other day, and she's a delight. Uh, but anybody on our staff is is more than willing. That's what I love about Transfer Express installs is everybody here wants to see your business succeed, and they will do everything in their power. So if you have any questions whatsoever, don't hesitate to pick up the phone. Uh, yeah, right there. Mike threw the phone number down, 1-800-622-2280. Uh, and we are here available for you, what, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., Monday through through Friday. Uh, there's always going to be somebody to pick up the phone. Uh, if you want to talk to me directly, you, the easiest way to get in touch with me is commenting on a YouTube video. So go go subscribe. And I personally answer every single YouTube comment on there uh, and try to help as much as possible. That's my favorite part here uh, is helping you guys out and helping your business get better and you achieve your goals. So I'm, I'm into that. Back to backpacks. 
<laughs> um, so some of these uh, these wholesale brands, like I mentioned, Port Authority from Sanmar is absolutely fantastic, which is what, what I believe this bag right here is. So you could see they are that kind of high-end look. They have a whole bunch of different styles, but you could get them from OGO, which we just got some OGO bags uh, this summer. Uh, that were nice corporate branded. They were the corporate gift. So we're talking about corporate gifts here. They were the gift uh, over the summer for one of our uh, marketing or sales summits. And it is awesome. I use it all the time. I'd show you, but it's very dark here in the room and I would have to get up and it's it's just just over on the other side of the camera. But um, Nike makes awesome bags as well. Cornerstone is another fantastic one, a little bit more budget minded. Mercer and Metal is the high end brand. The same with like Eddie Bauer. So when we talk about printing these properly, when I those last four, I mean, Nike, Mercer and Metal, Eddie Bauer, OGO even, they are expensive blanks. And if you're operating on a thin profit margin, maybe with samples or a low quantity that you're trying to turn into more business, uh, that if you damage one of these bags, it could really eat into that profit margin. So testing and uh, and being sure that you can, uh, you know, print on this specific bag without damaging it or what pressure you need is paramount. So just be sure to test your setup, starting with light pressure and a low temperature first and work your way up incrementally in a small little test area as to not ruin the bag, because that is very important when you're dealing with, with higher priced uh, blanks. Now with higher priced blanks, like some of these backpacks, your profit margin is going to be through the roof. We usually say higher quality t-shirts yield a higher profit margin. The same goes here with some of these bags. Although I will say Port Authority makes some awesome bags that you could still turn a very hefty profit on, uh, even with budget costs. So those are the ones that you'll typically see uh, at, used as pitches or um, as those samples to bring people in. Um, and I see Mike answering some, some questions in the chat right there. Uh, so now let's talk about beach bags. These are what I like to call deluxe totes. So they're perfect for resorts, vacationers. Uh, so think that like boardwalk shop. If you have any target audience, maybe even going on vacation, that family trip uh, down to Cancun or Disney or wherever it is, this could be an awesome addition to those t-shirts. Now you don't have to print a, a, a bag for every t-shirt, but showing off the capabilities to your customers is going to help you market your business better. And if you don't show totes, nobody knows that you could print on totes and you might inspire one of your customers to go, Hey, I saw that you posted on Instagram or Facebook or wherever you post. Uh, hey, I saw you, you posted tote bags. Could I throw some onto my order? Absolutely. So if you're not showing your capabilities to your customers, they don't know that you could do it. So, I mean, screenshot one of these, these right here and just, <laughs> just use it. Uh, or you could even mock it up in our easy view online designer with maybe your own logo or something and be able to download that too. So really, really cool stuff that you could do here with these totes. But for these, these deluxe tote bags, the beach bags, you will, they're nice. Usually a hundred percent cotton, like a canvas almost a uh, very similar, to like regular standard tote bags, but those resorts, vacationers, any gift shops, craft fairs. Uh, you see these often in museums um, with like the gift shop and museums uh, and zoos. Zoos have a lot of tote bags as well. So like there's a wide variety of people who could use these oversized deluxe totes. Um, and yeah, the, the craft fairs and the farmer's markets are a great example of that for these reusable tote bags. I don't know where you live, uh, but where I live, no grocery stores are allowed to carry plastic bags. So everything has to be paper bags, but you see everybody using reusable bags, which I love our planet and I love the initiative. But sometimes when I forget a bag, yeah, I'm buying another reusable one <laughs> or paying 10 cents for the paper bag. Uh, but I try all the time. And so uh, even like grocery stores and stuff like that, the small little mom and pops, uh, convenience stores, these tote bags could even be very useful for uh, as you you try to pitch those clients. Even I don't want to shy away from like corporate or anything, because maybe, you know, if they do have like a company picnic or something, that something like this would be absolutely perfect as a giveaway to be included with that. For these... Port Authority reigns supreme. There are a lot of tote bag uh, suppliers out there. I think Delta has a few options as well, but nothing beats the value and affordability of the uh, Port Authority. Uh, organic cotton for these is a great question, Heidi. Um, I am not sure about that. That is a fantastic question. I'm sure there are some organic cotton totes. I know that I've seen some recycled ones, especially when we start talking about the polypropylene ones coming up. <clears throat> that you're gonna start to see a little bit uh, of some recycled content in those. So uh, let's move on to some more bags. <coughs> 
excuse me, I'm already getting already getting horse talking, and we're only 28 minutes in. <laughs> All right, so these are the defined tote bags. So they're a little bit smaller. You can see the difference here. If we let let's use this Halloween is coming uh, one that we see here, the cotton uh, canvas bag. You can see it's much smaller in terms of where those straps are. That this one goes pretty much almost edge to edge with that same maybe six, seven inch strap area, whereas something like this deluxe beach tote is much larger. <clears throat> Think of putting the towels in there, the notebooks, the shoes, the sunglasses, maybe a laptop or something could fit in this one. Whereas these other totes are a little bit smaller. These are your grocery getters. Now they are great. We did the toaster transfers Halloween showing off the tote bags and being able to use it as like a little trick or treat bag. Uh, but think of those trunk or treats when they come around or maybe uh, the, yeah, the company picnics. These also great for gift shops. As I say, gift shops for the deluxe beach totes. These are a great option too. Maybe a little bit more budget friendly libraries and bookstores, those local community resources that are in your community. I always recommend if you're just getting started, start local in your area because you're going to be able to edge out especially using Transfer Express, you can meet the profit or the, the, the price of every other online competitor. But number one, you're local. And if it's somebody, like if it's a library you go into all the time, you already have a relationship with them. So you are already, you have one foot in the door because you support them, they're gonna support you. Number two, you could hit those profit margins that we talked about. So you could, you could still make a good profit while meeting that national competitor price, if they went to like custom ink or something like that, Vistaprint, you can meet that pricing using screen printed transfers as your only real investment uh, is going to be the heat press. You buy the screen printed transfers or the digital transfers uh, when the job comes in, as well as the blanks. So you're charging the customer for that and you're passing it on through. Now, number three, how you're going to edge out your competition, especially national competition that has millions of dollars in revenue uh, and is able to ship globally if they wanted to, is the turn time. You are local. You could hand deliver it and deliver it the day after it's done. Uh, with Transfer Express, say these uh, glow in the dark. Let's just use this eat, drink, and be scary tote bag here. For example, glow in the dark transfers. If this is designed in Easy View Online Designer like this one is, a single color, they ship next day. So say uh, that two, two days anywhere in the United States. So let's say you are in Seattle, Washington. So the farthest away from uh, our, any of our production facilities as you could get, it's still going to arrive in just two days. So three days after you place this order, the transfers arrive. Hopefully, uh, if you're in Seattle, Washington, I know Sanmar, if you're buying from Sanmar or transferexpress.com, uh, that, I mean, they're going to ship to you within one day. So on day three, you're able to print everything and ship it out. If you went to go get the glow-in-the-dark screen printed tote bags from a national supplier, <clears throat> they're going to say, man, uh, yeah, it's probably going to be about two or three weeks. Boom. You're meeting the same exact price. You you have a relationship with them already. And number three, you could beat that turn time and just squash it. Uh, so you can compete with just a heat press. I'm telling you, I've seen it and I've heard from so many people that do compete and find success against these national companies, especially in like smaller towns, your neighborhood, your community, rely on the people, rely on the landscapers that come to your house or uh, the plumbing company that's coming to fix the sink or install the dishwasher. If you are a client of theirs, they are much more likely to be a client of yours. And it's a great place to start. No need for any marketing cost. All it takes is maybe a flyer or just having a conversation. Zero marketing cost. Hey, you guys need some new t-shirts? We could do it. Hey, you need some tote bags for your library? You guys have the whatever readathon coming up in February? Whatever event. I just made that up. You have the readathon coming up in February? Perfect. I have some tote bags that I could that I could give to the the kids who read whatever six books. It, it you, you the possibilities are endless of where you could fit these custom decorated products in here. Um, Yari, what size should you make images for a tote bag? We're going to get to that in just a little bit, um, but it really depends on the bag. So we'll talk about that here in a little bit. These tote bags usually around nine by nine inches on these tote bags is a okay. You want to stay from straps and seams, stay away from the obstructions. But like I mentioned, we have a whole part coming up on this here. Now, these uh, tote bags or reusable grocery bags are commonly canvas, so that 100% cotton duck canvas, <clears throat> or polypropylene. Now, that matters because polypropylene will scorch uh, anywhere above 100 degrees. And I don't want to say scorch, it melts. Like, it just straight disintegrates. So you want to be sure you're using a, uh, a, a transfer type 
that's going to be able to uh, meet that that heat threshold. So right there on the farm fresh taste best or the fresh taste best uh, little farmer's market bag. Uh, that is a polypropylene tote with elastoprints on it. So print it at 290 degrees for 15 seconds. I uh, applied on that absolutely A-OK. -okay. And just like t-shirts, sometimes the darker colors will uh, be more visibly damaged than the lighter ones. Where like this one, you essentially could get away with, it might not even scorch because the, the pigments in the fabric are not as saturated. So you might not see those pigments changing colors. Uh, or... Uh, of course, you could just change your transfer type. We do not recommend using any cover sheets or anything like that uh, to block the heat because uh, effectively it blocks the heat to the transfer type too, not just the bag or the fabric that you're printing on. Um, and yeah, Jasmine knows <laughs> polypropylene is how I ruined my first heat press. Uh, I would be lying if I never uh, admitted to to ruining a polypropylene bag too. But I wiped it off very, very quickly, uh, realizing my mistake and fixing it as soon as I can. Uh, because yeah, that was, uh, yeah, that happens. Yep. When you're at 365, 370 degrees and hit that polypropylene, it will melt. Yes. Sometimes even the straps on like the cinch sacks that we'll cover coming up uh, are that polypropylene and super heat sensitive, or even sometimes nylon and they will uh, just melt. So yeah, don't melt, don't melt, melt city. <laughs> Thanks for sharing, Jasmine. It takes courage to, to share in a chat like this, uh, but that's that's the thing is that nothing is a mistake, nothing is a failure if you don't learn from it. And if it was your second bag, yeah, yeah, that would that would be a problem. Yeah. So as long as it's a learning opportunity, uh, and you could fix you could fix the mess on the heat press uh, fairly easily with those nonstick coatings, uh, but be able to uh, to get some awesome results uh, on these tote bags and especially the polypropylene ones you could usually find for right around a dollar or even less a piece uh, when you start to buy in bulk. Uh, I know I was talking to somebody down in Fort Worth who bought thousands of them from Alibaba because they kept being asked, uh, hey, could we do these, these reusable polypropylene tote bags? And they're like, yeah, sure, no problem. And they were just putting uh, vinyl or something on them. And maybe it was a screen. Maybe it was, maybe it was our Ultra Color Max. I'm not too sure, but they were putting a low temperature transfer type on it. And uh, they were having great success, but they stocked a whole bunch of them because people asked for them all the time. They made one big order for a, a local store, uh, and then everybody started asking them, hey, where did you get these printed? And they said, oh, just locally um, from this company. And so they got more and more and more. And because they were paying maybe a buck, a buck 20 a bag when they were doing these low quantities, they just said, hey, we're going to be doing these. We see that there's a need for them. And they stocked up and bought thousands of them from China uh, and got them for like 20 or 40 cents a piece. Uh, and so when you're adding a decoration, that's another quarter, like 50 cents, a custom bag is out the door. You could sell those for 100% profit at a dollar. And you know that other companies turn around and selling it for two or three dollars because that's what I pay at the grocery store uh, when I buy them. I think they're 250 for something like that has a logo on it or uh, the fun little fall fest of designs. So, I mean, it all depends on what your customer's budget is and what your budget is. I'm not telling you to go out and go buy a whole pallet of bulk uh, pro polypropylene totes, but you could, I'm just telling you there's ways to that you could kind of start to reduce some of those, uh, you could really reduce the cost on some things if you do identify the need for it. So just be careful with that. But as those different uh, materials come in, just like here with the cinch sacks, polyester nylon or poly cotton blends. So you want to make sure, I think there's even the cinch sack now that's like a hoodie material. So it's like a poly cotton fleece and it has an outside pocket on it. Really, really cool. But uh, of course, when we talk about these different materials, you're going to want to consider a different transfer type, which is very, very, uh, Im you know, very, very important. So uh, here for these cinch sacks, teams, schools, uh, athletics play a huge role here. Uh, I know that uh, when I was in high school uh, and even in college that the athletes used these cinch sacks for their shoes. So like the cleats for the football team, the baseball team, they all would have these cinch sacks. So if you know that local school district uh, and you could get into that athletic program, which I will admit is sometimes hard to bust into, especially at a high school level. Um, but if you could get in, it is a great, awesome, lucrative opportunity to have for your t-shirt business. Uh, but uh, having these having these cinch sacks as a product offering to offer for athletics, schools, teams, anything like that, or even, you know, if there's a club soccer team or a uh, kind of like a pub league softball team, perfect. 
absolutely perfect to be able to offer these in a branded opportunity. Uh, they go great with the rest of the gear. Like you can see the t-shirt here, cheerleading with the, uh, with the, with the cinch sack as well. That matches. It's the same exact transfer type. So it fits on both. So I see Mike answering questions in there for uh, polypropylene uh, and ultra color max or ultra color pro along with elastoprints for those spot colors. So really, really cool. Um, yeah. No need to use a cover sheet on some of those guys, man. You guys are, are chatting it up in there. Uh, I'm trying to stay focused on the material because uh, I want to, I want to get you, get you this information in a timely manner. And I mean, we'll go off on tangents as we need. That's the beauty of this, right? We're friends. We're just hanging out, hanging out on a Thursday afternoon. But thank you guys again for tuning in. So uh, some great brands here, uh, Port Tech, Port Authority and Sport Tech, both available from Sanmar or over on TransferExpress.com uh, in just uh, some really affordable options. Now, these, depending on what you're what you're doing, some of them have little ringlet eyelets uh, that are actually metal. Uh, so you want to make sure that those stay off the heat press, not to damage your upper platen. Some of them are plastic and will melt under the upper platen. So just be very careful with that. Uh, but the majority of them, all you have to really worry about is the strings. So just isolating the print area or the ones that are already like a t-shirt or like a, a fleece fabric, you could definitely use those uh, pretty much on any heat press and be able to print those. Yeah, Jasmine, that hoodie cinch bag is super, super cool. Um, somebody did one last year for like holiday gifts for their friends or like a baby shower gift or something. I don't know. It was it like I the first time I saw them in real life, like those look just as cool as they look online. So, yeah, having one of those just in your in your showroom or like carrying around with you as your traveling bag of samples if you're pitching clients uh, or just order one in for yourself and take some photos of it, put it on the website, put it on, um, I mean, on your social media, wherever you want to, wherever you want to put that stuff. Uh, so really, really cool stuff here. So another one, I talked about it right at the beginning, is those hip packs, uh, fanny packs, belt bags, whatever you want to call them, they're fanny packs. And they were in the 90s, uh, and they are still right now. But uh, they are incredibly versatile. They're coming back around. Nobody's really wearing them around the waist anymore, uh, like where we had them on the belt line. Uh, but everybody's kind of wearing them diagonally, almost like those like messenger bags that you see the 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 couriers wear riding their 10 speeds around. Um, but it's really great. Uh, my wife actually uses one right now because she used to lose her wallet and phone and keys all the time. Uh, so now she wears like a fanny pack belt bag kind of purse thing. It's a little bit fancier than just a regular belt bag, but there are tons of different uh, suppliers now who make them, which just show you how popular it is, which brings me to another topic that when you see wholesale suppliers come out with a new style or a new colorway, it's usually because it's trending. It takes a lot of money and a lot of investment, a lot of research for them to develop a new style. So just like this, uh, this, this belt bag from Port Authority right here that came out last year, it's identifying the need for these types of garments that they knew they were coming back in style. Now, Port Authority makes some great ones, just like this one, the go fast turn left for Flag City Motorsports that we saw right here. Great for a day out at the track or a campground. Those corporate retreats, resorts, again, uh, even sports and athletics, the trainers, Watch uh, Thursday night football tonight or uh, Monday night football. Any professional sports game, probably even if you're watching the World Cup, there are people on the sidelines and at the event with uh, with the belt bags on. Usually they're under the requirement for stadiums and stuff, uh, as well as super convenient for trainers to have uh, on, the, on the benches. So imagine that high school training staff all decked out, maybe the equipment manager all decked out with these belt bags or hip packs, fanny packs, whatever you want to call them, that they're decked out with them and able to put them all on uh, anything that they need right at the ready, all with them. Your phone, your keys, your wallet, those festivals, music festivals, perfect opportunity to see a whole bunch of belt bags and also sell them because people are going to come to them and go, man, I really want, I, I like that. I want that. I want that too. And you're going to be able to supply that if you're selling at those festivals, farmer's markets, anything like that. Um, we see it a lot with young parents and I guess like the, I don't want to say millennials, but <laughs> millennials and uh, the Gen X, Gen Z, especially the younger generation. So if you have any uh, target demographics markets that you kind of advertise to, this might be a great one with these fanny packs or hip packs. Um, now, these are typically polyester or nylon. Uh, you'll see the strap. I know on this uh, Port Authority one that everything is the same denier uh, polyester that you would see on like a backpack. So it's almost, I don't want to say rip stop, but it is super, super durable and it could take a beating. Uh, but the strap itself is nylon. So you're going to want to keep the strap itself off the heat press. 
But I'll show you a great example coming up uh, on how you could decorate these super fast and easy without any additional setup. So like something like this, you're going to have to raise the printing area. You see there's a zipper there. There's those reflective gray uh, seams uh, on either side of the decoration. So you want to keep those off the heat press. So you're going to be isolating that print area. Now, Port Authority does make a little bit more unstructured ones, which are great. 100% uh, polyester. As well as Cotopaxi makes great ones, a great adventure outdoor brand, and Carhartt. Of course, everybody knows Carhartt. Carhartt makes one as well. Uh, and they're not necessarily like tool bags. They are like kind of fanny packs like this. So um, really, really cool stuff. Uh, really, really cool stuff that you can put here. Now, this one right here that we're looking at is actually an Ultra Color Pro print. So uh, it is a hot peel, full color transfer made for high quantities. So if this was, you know, busting out some for the entire team or selling to fans at a, at a motorsports event. And so you're going to be printing a higher quantity. But we're going to get into kind of more what to use when in just a couple more slides uh, because it does vary based on a few different factors. And we'll talk about that. Um, so let's talk about these little cosmetic and travel bags. So uh, real, real important. Uh, for any corporate things, fashion, weddings. So uh, we see these all the time for bachelorette and bachelor parties, the uh, sweet 16s or stuff like that, um, that these are a great add-on opportunity. Say if you had somebody come to you and go, hey, um, we're going uh, to a bachelorette party. We're, we're planning this event uh, down in Nashville. We want uh, some t-shirts and maybe some robes or something for all the ladies. Uh, but, it, and you could say, hey, I could do these custom makeup bags. Now, the best thing about these is they're like they're that little cosmetic bag size uh, or travel bags. So if you're putting your shampoos, your soaps, whatever it needs to be, I always like to put it in a smaller bag before I put it in my big bag when I'm traveling. So I even use something like this to keep all the uh, all not my cosmetics, but like my travel essentials, essentially, essentially, you see what I did there um, to keep all of those travel essentials all in one bag. So uh, being able to uh, to take these on the road, super, super easy. But yeah, pitch them when you have those customers identifying. Uh, yeah, we're going to be doing a bachelorette weekend. Hey, I also have an example of these. Uh, you see this Cleveland one down here on the right hand side. Perfect. That is perfect holiday gift. You could give these for gifts for this season. I know uh, if you're like me, you're freaking out because you procrastinated and it's only, what, two, some three weeks to Christmas. Uh, and so if you're looking for some awesome decoration gifts, this is one thing that you could easily create with your heat press. Now, when you're decorating these, you do want to keep the uh, the zipper obviously off the heat press there, but a lot of times they're flat enough and they're not structured. There's no gussets or anything on the inside, no pouches. That you could essentially just lay them flat over your heat press and get an awesome print on them. So uh, really cool for gifts, really great for a lot of stuff. But we're going to talk about uh, a few gift ideas coming up here too. You need to do, you need to watch out though, because <clears throat> there are polyester ones. I know these white ones that we saw here are polyester, which if you are running sublimation or even if you want to go over to stalls.com and buy custom sublimation transfers, you absolutely can. And these are subla sublimatable, sublim sublimatable. Sub sublimatable uh, so that they can be sublimated on white polyester takes sublimation incredibly well what it's designed for so just check those materials and i know that they sell them uh, in the heat press aisle at both joanne fabrics michaels whatever craft store is in your area they do have these ones uh both the canvas ones like that we see the cleveland skyline design on and the uh polyester ones now you'll also see sometimes these made out of burlap uh, which all of our transfer types work fantastic on burlap too. So something really, really great to keep in mind. Uh, these uh, here are all from Port Authority. So a uh, great option, uh, again, on TransferExpress.com. Um, Terrence asks, how well do uh, does the nylon print? The best transfer for those. So for nylon, we actually only have one transfer type that we guarantee will work. Uh, you may see some success on nylon if you're not laundering it. So maybe some of these bags that won't get washed, uh, but nylon is a very tricky synthetic fiber because you uh, the the, the transfers not ne don't necessarily adhere to it. So it's just the way that it's made and the way that it is it is manufactured that you're going to have some durability issues on it. So the only transfer type that we recommend for nylon is uh, ultra color stretch. So ultra color stretch is going to be the best. It could fit with that um, and it, it, it works well. Uh, Kathy talks about the burlap bags. Do they have some kind of coating that needs to be taken off first? Some do. 
It all depends on the weave. Usually the product listing will say that. Of course, sometimes there are surprises where it doesn't say anything about a waterproof coating uh, or any kind of waxing or anything on them. And then you get it on the heat press and you discover some issues. Uh, but for the most part, the burlap ones that I've printed on do not have coatings. I've put Goof Proof on them. I've put Ultra Color Max and Ultra Color Soft. I don't think I did Pro on them, but I did Ultra Color Soft on them, uh, Goof Proof and Ultra Color Max. So I know that it works on the burlap bags. Uh, in fact, we just did some burlap bags here for our holiday ebook. Uh, and so you could see some of that burlap printed as like little holiday gift guides. Uh, or in our holiday gift guide, but for like little holiday bags. Uh, and those printed A-OK -okay with Goof Proof. So a two-color Goof Proof print on there um, and do it. Yes, uh, Steve, Tri-State Embroidery, absolutely. Uh, kind of jumping on Kathy's, uh, Kathy's comment there, and that is absolutely right. Everyone should keep in mind that if there's a chemical waterproofing on anything at all, you need to remove that before printing because usually that waterproofing does not allow the adhesive to set in. Even if it does and it looks like it printed fine, sometimes you could even just touch it and the ink starts to like pile up and roll off. So <laughs> Steve sounds like he's speaking from uh, experience here. <laughs> Welcome to my nightmare. You see this a lot on jackets, especially winter jackets as we enter the colder seasons of the month here in North America. And uh, yes, be very mindful. Now, sometimes some denatured alcohol rubbing on that. There's tons of trip, tick, trips, tick. I can't even talk. There's tons of tricks and tips <laughs> online on YouTube on how to remove those coatings. Sometimes it does change the appearance of the fabric, though, uh, because it does uh, tint the fabric a little bit. So when you rub, uh, you're scrubbing with that denatured alcohol, removing it, and you're taking off the coating. Uh, Cynthia, uh, I think I answered that. Yeah, denatured alcohol is one way. But uh, YouTube and YouTube is your friend and Google is your friend for the specific uh, item that you're decorating on it. If it is like a car, uh, Carhartt Rain Defender uh, jacket or something. Um, and so if it's, yeah, if it's that Rain Defender, uh, you just just say, hey, how do I get this? Uh, how do I get the coating off this rain defender jacket. Now, a lot of times, say if you're just doing a little left chest print <clears throat> or something, you could uh, you could kind of rub just that print area. So the rest of the jacket is still waterproof, but just that little area. And also sometimes those coatings will melt off on the heat press. So just test, 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 please. And if you have to use a cover sheet to protect your heat press, use a paper one that will protect the heat press and absorb any of that coating or any of the nasty stuff that you don't want to get into your heat press, but it's still going to allow uh, the heat to transfer through that paper. Um, so gay bass is it better to go with sublimation prints or inkjet prints. Does it really depend on your personal preference? So it really depends on what you're decorating. Uh, I would say inkjet prints, the quality has really come up, uh, especially with like Caesars direct to vinyl stuff. Um, but inkjet transfers are not going to be ever durable enough, uh, down the road just like the at-home print on your printer uh, with the inks that come from your HP or brother printer. No, they are not a professional decoration method. Maybe for like a one-off here and there, uh, you could get away with it, but I wouldn't even recommend that, especially because Ultra Color Max, our direct-to-film transfers, are one sheet minimum quantity. So you could fill up an entire sheet uh, up to 22 by 22 inches and get out the door for like 25 bucks on a whole bunch of printing. So uh, if you're going to be doing one-offs, I would even recommend probably going to like vinyl uh, with a one or two color artwork because uh, those inkjet prints then don't work on dark garments. They only work on light garments and sublimation only works on polyester garments. So if you're kind of basing just for sublimation and just for inkjet printing, you're limiting yourself to light colors uh, and uh, not the most durable printing method. Now, sublimation is super durable when applied correctly. Um, but it only works on light colored polyester. So that is uh, kind of limiting for what you do. Antonio, Caesar Easy Color DTV works well. Um, I've seen it um, and I have I actually uh, spent a lot of time at the Caesar booth down in Fort Worth because I am a nerd about all this printing technology. And it's something that I was surprised wasn't really coming out. There's been print and cut vinyl, uh, especially from like those, the big print and cut machines, which are absolutely fantastic quality. Um, the thing I worry about with the Caesar DTV is it really boils down to the at-home printer that you have is where your quality is going to be made. I've seen it printed on like really nice, like $400, $500 uh, photo printers. And the resolution looks incredible. Uh, looks uh, like a vinyl transfer, still a print and cut. 
So it doesn't look quite as on the shirt as a screen printed transfer does or a direct to film transfer even does. Uh, and as long as you're knocking out areas uh, and you're able to uh, to get some of that shirt showing through, it's still it's still an OK method to print. Uh, but even with like with direct to film being such a low barrier to entry, uh, I will always personally defer to direct to film just because I know I have right when we were developing direct to film, the alter color max that came out yeah, about a year ago. Um, right when we were developing it, I got some samples uh, of my own custom artwork and I printed some hoodies for me and my buddies with it. Uh, maybe like uh, 12 colors, 13 colors, some gradients in it. So nothing that I was ever going to be able to print with any uh, any screen printer transfer. Uh, but I ran those things through the washer and dryer so many times now. My buddies have absolutely abused them, worn them on work sites, uh, and they look fantastic. And that's something that I can't say for the durability of like that that DTV or the inkjet prints. Uh, if I was just doing, yeah, I think I did 12 hoodies total uh, with yeah, 12, 13, 14 color print uh, gradients and everything like that kind of stuff. The quality is just completely unmatched for the price. And then you don't have to buy, you don't have to buy materials. You don't have to buy a printer. You don't have to stock inks if a job is going to come through. Now, if you're just doing little one-offs here and there, absolutely fine. I don't want to to, to kind of throw a wrench in the system that's working for you and your business, but I urge you to at least get a sample of the DTF uh, the ultra color max and compare it because uh, I think uh, at least I have a, a somewhere. I don't know if I have it uh, right here at my desk. I think it's in the cabinets behind me, but I actually do have a Caesar uh, easy, easy DTV sample. Um, and the ultra color max direct to film is just night and day difference. So um, that would definitely be on there. Um, the uh, Port Authority Clear Stadium Tote, can you do a transfer on clear plastic? Depending on the type of plastic, because sometimes those are polypropylene and you can maybe get away with it. But I would much rather defer to um, to pressure sensitive vinyl if you're going to be doing a print on that. Uh, we offer decals. You could order them right through the Easy View Online Designer uh, for those clear uh, vinyl. Sometimes it is just vinyl. Um, it's plastic vinyl. Um, and so uh, when you're using those, uh, you could use the, uh, if you select full color, uh, transfers and the drop down on transferexpress.com on the easy view online designer, you could actually pull up uh, the custom decals. So those are permanent custom decals. Uh, and if you printed one of those for a clear polypropylene bag, you could do full color images, whatever you want. Uh, very similar to what we see here with these gradients. These are CAD prints as well uh, in that way, that kind of like white outline uh, and be able to put those on there. Or if you have a cutter at home uh, using some pressure sensitive vinyl would be an absolute, uh, a, a cool way to decorate on that. Um, and then if you want to make it a little bit more permanent, we've seen people apply a little bit of heat to them. Uh, so something a little bit lower in that 150 range, 200 range. Uh, so then you're not going to melt anything, uh, but you could kind of heat set it and get it on there a little bit more. Um, we've seen people do that with uh, some like decals on like uh, glasses and drinkware uh, or like tumblers, stuff like that. All they do is just put a little bit of heat to it. They have uh, my buddy was doing it. He would take a he was putting just regular stickers on headwear, like on the brim of hats. But he would take a like cloth and just have it bunched up and folded up in a little thing, put it in the oven so it was 200, 300 degrees, and just kind of hold it with an oven mitt in his hand to against the sticker. And it was just it, activating that adhesive a little bit more uh, so that when it dries, it was like permanently on those hats. But he was essentially sticker bombing his hat permanently. So you got to play around with it. Like I said, test, 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 test. Of course, these tech cases, we're talking to little planners, uh, laptop bags, very corporate and schools, especially if you are looking for faculty gifts or anything like that. Uh, for laptop bags, uh, we just saw a logistics company come through, do a whole bunch of laptop bags uh, for their entire remote team as they are typically on the go, uh, that they got laptop bags for all of their employees here. So it's a great, a great thing to add on that. But these fabrics are polyester, nylon, and sometimes poly cotton as well. So you get a little bit of blend of fabric. Uh, but typically, you're going to want a low temperature transfer for these um, to be able to, to apply them on here. The Cat Express that we have on here, uh, I believe, is a 250 degree application. So no worries about scorching whatsoever. And maybe on that little booklet that she has, depending on if that's real leather or leatherette, uh, it could be pressure sensitive and it could be heat transfer as well. So uh, those notebooks and stuff that you're going to be putting in with these all these kits, like that's definitely something to keep in mind. Uh, OGO has some great bags. I know Nike has some uh, Port Authority. I have a Port Authority bag uh, just right over here. My 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 office is a mess, and so I'm really glad you could see just a little bit. I have a lot of samples here. There's a lot of samples in here. I like playing around with uh, heat printing often, if you could tell. But think travel here. So anybody on the road a lot, um, 
or traveling with, with technology, even office employees. Uh, I have a laptop bag myself that I've been using for about 10 years, um, and I carry everything in that little messenger bag, just kind of like this guy's got right here. So uh, getting into um, uh, the different kind of transfer types of bags that we have, uh, different types of bags, not transfer types yet. I'm jumping the gun, um, but wine totes. So right down there in the bottom middle, uh, great for holiday gifts. Kind of takes just that bottle of wine, personalizes it, uh, and brings it up, especially if it's like personalized to the person you're giving it to, they're going to keep it around. Uh, mm -hmm. And if they're traveling with wine bags or anything else like that, um, or they're traveling with wine often, that's something that they're going to use. But like, yeah, even for this, like, yeah, the uh, bring some Christmas cheer, Christmas cheer bottled up in a bag. Perfect. <laughs> Those wedding favors. So we were talking about those little cosmetic bags or even like, uh, let me hide my face here for a second so you could see that bottom picture. Um, and you could see that those little like uh, happily ever after, we've seen people put the little uh, emergency or the little like uh, liquid IV little hangover packs with some Advil or something in there for some wedding favors uh, or even the napkin right there. Same transfer type goes on all of it. So you're able to do stuff like that, uh, even the duffel bags you see at the top for gyms or sports like that. Uh, those those uh, high school and those school sports in your local area are awesome. And those customization on it, if you're putting somebody's name on it, <clears throat> that's where you're going to really uh, get a lot of bang for your buck uh, profit wise. So right there, absolutely fantastic. Now, uh, uh, the sports bags, pickleball, everybody's playing pickleball except me. I got to get playing uh, pickleball. Um, <laughs> uh, but a pickleball bag, just like that. So those specific, uh, tennis racket bags, the specific sports racquetball, pickleball, all of your racket sports essentially. Uh, but anything else too, they make bags specifically for cleats or, uh, or anything, uh, think track and field cross country, stuff like that, uh, that you could decorate on that. Now that's an ultra color pro transfer right on that little flap that you just unzip lay flat on the press print zip it back up and it's done. Uh, lunch bags and gift bags. So like uh, pickleball, Tony plays pickleball. I bet Tony plays pickleball right in there. Um, and so uh, the lunch bags, lunch boxes, great thing for person, uh, personalizing. Uh, even school districts I've seen uh, offer like a student issue, a school issue lunch box uh, or yeah, a lunch bag like that. Uh, corporate gifts, great for construction sites uh, or companies. I bring my lunch every day. Um, and so a great thing to be able to have personalized so nobody steals my lunch, right? Because it says Dave on it. It does. It does actually say Dave on it. But my daughter has one too. So uh, in daycare, like have to have a personalized lunch bag, um, be able to offer that through a daycare service could be some great uh, kind of like passive sales as it comes in, put a little sign up sheet. Hey, you want a personalized lunch box for your kid? They're 10 bucks. Costs you $3 to make. Hand over fist profit. That's the good stuff. Um, and then even like these gift bags, the Merry and Bright right above that lunchbox on the left-hand side shows you that uh, that's just goof proof. Uh, maybe even puffings. It's either puff or goof proof on those. I did those last year, um, but just some like gift bags, some Buffalo plaid, uh, put some gifts in eco-friendly wrapping that then could be reused. They're just essentially little cinch sacks uh, that have a little tie at the top, tie it closed and that's it. So uh, perfect. But you can see the wide variety of spot color and full color art that we're putting on everything in here. Um, Sierra asks, is there a minimum to your transfers? For example, if I just wanted a personalized transfer, I do not want to buy 10 to just get the transfer. We do have uh, one sheet minimum uh, for our Ultra Color Max, but it is just $25 is a minimum order. Uh, so if you did just want to order one name, one personalized transfer, throw some other art on there too uh, that you could use to pitch a, a customer or maybe something for yourself, a gift idea for somebody for the holidays and take full advantage of that $25 uh, to get that one personalized transfer. Now, if you're just doing like one name or something like that, uh, using a vinyl cutter uh, would probably be the best bet if you have one. But if you don't have a vinyl cutter, you don't want to go out and buy a vinyl cutter for 300 bucks at the low end or wherever you're going to get one and buy some materials for 20, 30 bucks. Uh, and then you're kind of 330 bucks in uh, and that's an, one expensive item. So yeah, definitely... Uh, 
You could use print and cut services from stalls uh, with the vinyl if you just want one. Or if you just want one name, we have our express names too at transferexpress.com. And so if you just want one name, choose your font, uh, be able to put your name in. And I think they are like a buck 80 a piece or like $2, depending on the size you want it. So they go up to like three inches by 11 inches. So a huge, like think like a name plate on a football or hockey jersey. They go up to that to even be smaller. So uh, whatever size you might want to check that out. We'll see if Mike could link in uh, the, uh, those express names right here into the chat. So you can check those out and see if that's an option for you. Cause that is an incredibly cost-effective option for this personalization too. So say like that, what that one on the top, right? Uh, the, the basketball is going to obviously be like a goof proof transfer, but then for that name, if you just could fit two transfers up uh, on one gang sheet and you need 24 total bags. So you're buying 12 transfers, two up on each sheet. And then for all of those names, cause you want to match the ink color and you want to match the application, just get those express names and you could do those express names. They cost $2 per name uh, and they're great. They are the same exact screen printed inks uh, that we would pr print, say our goof proof transfers with, except it is uh, it's individualized for your name and you don't have to pay for uh, pay for the whole thing. Um, Antonio says, how about one for a customer before she buys? She's a small business just starting out. Um, so I like, if you want to do like a sample or something for them, um, definitely, uh, direct to film, the ultra color max is the, we see used all the time for sampling. Uh, or if you do have that vinyl cutter samplers are great. Uh, or if it is just a name or a simple personalization, you could use those express names as well. So, uh, yeah, six, six minimum quantity, like Mike just mentioned in the chat there for any screen printed transfers, which is still just incredibly low. Coming from, you know, 12 years in the apparel decorating industry, when I heard that our quantities here at Transfer Express were six for screen printing, I said, no way, no way. Because the last shop that I worked at uh, was, I was shocked that the minimum quantity for printing on anything was 24, which was still at the time considered very low. That was before like direct to garment became a thing. And uh, these one-offs were a little bit more prevalent, but now with the, with direct to film and ultra color max, like one-offs are incredibly profitable where five years ago, three or two years ago, the majority of people would just turn that job down and say, no, nope, not going to be worth it putting on press. Even if I have a direct to garment printer, like sometimes it's just not worth setting up that job uh, and taking everything, hand holding it through. Definitely not worth it. So uh, let's see. Image looks like what's on the flap of the pickleball bag. Doesn't the zipper become an issue for pressing? Did you miss that? Uh, Alan, uh, that's a great question. Um, it is on the flap there, but the way that that uh, zipper does uh, detach. So it the flap folded all the way over. Um, and I believe all we did was just raise the printing area. Or even if that like zipper isn't all that structured on that one pouch uh, that you that we got away with just laying it on the uh, the actual platen there. Um, now, what you could do is just raise the print area a little bit with a mouse pad, which we're going to get into, uh, and that could work on any press or uh, possibly even some additional um, uh, some additional uh, platens that you could put on your heat press to make it smaller or maybe a hat press, right? Maybe we'll see. Let's move on. So when we are talking about, um, <laughs> did you guys like that transition there? <laughs> When we're talking about what transfer type to use, we've thrown out a lot of things here today. Predominantly, we've talked about goof proof, which is cemented heavily in that orange area that you see there. Let me, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to pop, I'm going to pop my, my video off so that you guys could actually see the bottom in that, that ultra color pro purple, uh, area down there. So essentially this what to use when guide is all over transferexpress.com. And I'm sure Mike will also link it in here so you could download it or you could screenshot this guide right here. It's also included in the welcome pack uh, and pretty much any uh, all over on transferexpress.com. We want you guys to be making the most uh, the, the, the best decision for your project. Uh, so when we talk about like, so say one right here, uh, if we're at color quantity over here on the left hand side of the chart and apparel quantity up at the top. So we have a one color print and we need six or less. So boom, we're right there in that CAD cut heat transfer vinyl. Uh, and so say you have that one color, but you have 24 quantity, that's when it's gonna be more cost effective to switch over to screen printed plastisol transfers. Now there's no weeding involved with that. With the vinyl, you do have to weed, you have to cut and weed. Now with the screen printed plastisol transfers, they come ready to apply. There's no cutting on your, on your, uh, on your craft cutter, your Cricut, your Silhouette, your Roland, if you have a little bit more commercial uh, CAD cutters, no cutting, no weeding, no time. They arrive ready to apply. If you gang them up on a gang sheet, you could cut them out yourself uh, with just simple scissors. 
and just just cut right through them or you could also uh just use um you could ask us to cut them out for you and we'll cut them out for you so they are truly ready to apply so use this chart right here and be able to uh to pick the best option now this of course has quantity uh for your apparel at the top and color quantity over on that left hand side one thing you need to take into consideration is also the material you're printing on. Like we talked about a lot of polyesters, the nylon. Uh, and so uh, if I hide my face again, you can see down here at the bottom in the ultra color pro section, cotton, polyester, cotton, poly blends. But for cotton, polyester, cotton, poly blends, spandex, lycra, and woven nylon, ultra color stretch is going to be the way to go. So pay attention to what uh, material you have. And usually if something's separated out to be nylon, like Gorilla Grip is in the CAD cut section, or say Elastoprints are in the screen printed orange section, that that's going to be the low temperature option. Goof Proof, of course, is a great, versatile, awesome screen printed transfer that looks, feels, washes, and wears just like a traditional screen print, which is great, but it could only go as low as 325 degrees, which is fine for, I would say, the majority of polyester. However, some polyesters are a little bit more heat sensitive and need under 300 degrees to be in that safe range to not damage the garment. So uh, that's important to keep in mind uh, when you're looking at this what to use when dive guide. Um, now, next in the Easy View Online Designer, we did talk a little bit about uh, sizing and designing artwork uh, earlier, but this is where you're going to size and design your artwork. So uh, Easy View Online Designer, if you are not a designer and you're relying on Canva or uh, some stock vector catalogs or anything, uh, we have tons of information about Easy View. If I went into Easy View right now, uh, we'd be here for another two hours. I absolutely love it, especially coming from a design background. Now, story time. I uh, am a, I went to college for graphic design. That's how I got into the printing industry, how I got into marketing and how I got into helping you guys with your apparel business. Um, however, when I first heard about easy view online designer on transferexpress.com, I was like, eh, I'm going to design an illustrator. It's just what I know. I know I could do better than any, any stock designs in there. Boy, was I wrong. There are 7,000 just customizable layouts that you could just double click and change text and you're done. So number one, it saves a whole bunch of time with efficiency, even if you are a graphic designer. And I met uh, down in Fort Worth. I was talking about Kathy Taylor down in Fort Worth, but I also met uh, some good friends now uh, from the workshop uh, in Austin, Texas. They do a lot of letter pressing and screen printing, uh, the actual wet screen printing, burning screens and, and screen printing apparel. But they kind of had an interesting problem of like, you know, we have a lot of work. And it just takes a lot of time on the screen printing press. Um, we're designing these concepts for like PTAs and schools, which is great work that we don't want to turn down, but it's not necessarily what like fits our business model the best. Here came in easy view online designer and being able to sit down and just bust out some of those school designs for them without having to send six, seven, eight different comps uh, of designs to them that they had to spend hours doing an illustrator. They were able to just quickly browse the catalog, double click and customize, and it just made their entire artwork efficiency, their proof process, their approval process so much easier. And even uh, for their own designs, like for inside tag prints, instead of reinventing from the ground up, they went here in the Easy View Online Designer, pulled in uh, a, a, a little uh, tag layout, added their own logo to it, and bam, it's theirs now. Uh, and so being able to brand all of their apparel now without the misprints of real screen printing, real easy to just guarantee it's going to work every time when you have a quality heat press and you know it's going, uh, there are no misprints. So they are able to save time, money, not turn down the jobs that kept the lights on. And now they're able to focus their time more on the stuff that makes sense for their business and the jobs that they know are going to be highly profitable. So uh, it's it's great charity. Uh, you cannot download any designs from the design center. It is made uh, specifically. I mean, we would have to charge for it at that rate. It is a free source to order transfers and design and concept and pitch your customers. Uh, but it is made to uh, to be able to order your screen print transfers easily. Now, just like we see here, you can mock up designs and screenshot them, uh, but you will need a vector based program or uh, a SEP studio to be able to uh, to pull. Uh, I mean, you have to design it in Photoshop or Illustrator and then use the SEP studio to be able to pull it into your own screen printing world. Um, we don't we don't uh, allow the artwork to leave. Uh, we would have to sell it. It's Photoshop then at that point, but just really easy to use. 
<laughs> so um, that's it. Uh, Easy View is free on the Transfer Express website. There's no charge to use it. You just need an active Transfer Express account. So if you are brand new and you're just hearing about Transfer Express for the first time right now, uh, you could just go to transferexpress.com, create an account. Put your real address in there, though, I will say. You, we don't ask for a credit card or anything. There is a spot for a, a tax ID, but you don't need to put a tax ID. You could click the little checkbox and say, I don't have a tax ID. Um, but uh, once you sign up, we are automatically going to send you a, uh, a little welcome pack, which includes the idea book, which is uh, some of the greatest hits of the artwork that's available here in the easy view. So you could kind of browse uh, if you prefer the magazine style of browsing, the old school catalog. I know I still love it, especially coming from a design background. Absolutely love it. So uh, being able to bring some of that stuff in um, and be able to browse that, it comes with that and a whole bunch of transfer samples. So it's very important that you put your real address in there. Don't just fluff anything in there. Uh, put your real information. Uh, we're not going to sell it or anything. And we want to give you some free stuff. But right after you sign up for an account, boom, you could click Easy View Online Designer, go in there and start designing. You could really start playing with it. Uh, I, yeah, I do want to make sure that uh, that you get in there and play with it because that was the one thing that sold me, especially coming from a design background. A lot of the stuff that I was doing freelance on the side was like friends like, yeah, we just need a, a little curved text, a palm tree in the middle. And like I was spending, you know, an hour in Illustrator, 20 minutes if I was really flying through it, but I would have to find the right font and and arc the text the right way, draw on that path tool or use the warp effects, then go find a clip art and redraw it or uh, live trace something in Illustrator. And I'm in 20, 30 minutes or an hour, like I mentioned, where in Easy View Online Designer, I'm done with that in a minute. One minute, browse, type in palm tree or vacation or beach or whatever I want into the search. Boom, the entire list populates with that those thousands and thousands of customizable clip art and layout. And bam, just a, a couple double clicks, type a little bit right there. Boom, it changed it to the stuff that they wanted. Send it to them, screenshot it or use the mock-up tool like we see right here on this bag. Bam, send it out. And uh, yeah. It's absolutely fantastic. There's raster and uh, vector clip art in there for both screen printing and uh, that, that full color art, just like we see here, this Jazz Fest, all of those gradients possible with our full color transfers, the ultra color line, uh, and of course, that ultra color max, the, G the DTF, uh, direct to film transfer, uh, that just is kind of revolutionizing the industry. So um, yeah, if you're doing uh, all your stuff, let's see, bags, 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 we're talking about uh, match transfer type to the fabric material type. Um, let's, let's go in there. Um, yeah, Zachary's setting up shop this weekend. Perfect. 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 Um, let's see. Subha says we have a heat press. Suggest me what kind of bags are suitable. It depends on what your market is. Uh, if you're just joining in now, we went over a whole bunch of different markets and some different bags. Uh, I do love the Port Authority tote bags. If you're just looking to add a bag like this one right here, the Saginaw Park Jazz Fest, they make them in natural, uh, black. And I think maybe like blue, like a Royal blue and a red colorway. Maybe they just continue the red and it's just black and natural now. Uh, but they there's tons of varieties. You could look at transferexpress.com slash wholesale apparel. Um, let's see. Uh, Alan says, I love the design center. One point to make clear, you could take one or two elements from a complex design and use it for a design logo. Absolutely, you can. Uh, whether you are uploading your own art or using one of these layouts, there are ungrouped commands. And if you guys want to get in there, it looks a little intimidating at first. We put an entire series together over on our YouTube channel, a playlist of a whole bunch of these little bite-sized videos. We actually did a webinar just like this on everything in Easy View, but it's like two hours long. Uh, but if you want just little bite-sized chunks and play around and watch a two-minute video and then play around and watch a two-minute video and play around, best way to learn. I love learning that way. That's why I made the entire series for you guys like that. Over on our YouTube ch channel, if you just go to our channel page, scroll down and you'll see the Easy View playlist on there. Um, and we have tons of resources on how to use Easy View uh, and how to mock stuff up. Uh, just a ton of resources that I don't want to go too far today <laughs> into Easy View. You can tell that I'm very passionate about it. And it is actually one of the courses that we teach uh, when we're doing in person events on how it could really improve the artwork efficiency for you and your business, whether you're at home or you are running a shop like my friends at the workshop down in Austin, Texas, uh, that they're able to leverage some of the services. Now they still do absolutely incredible design uh, as both of them as trained graphic designers, absolutely phenomenal designs uh, that just blow me away. I wish I was as good at illustration or design as they are, uh, but and the letterpress stuff. I'm still just a nerd for every way that you could print on stuff. So I love the stuff that they're doing, but for the, the easy jobs to come in and out of the shop, they're using EasyView. 
uh, to, to leverage some of their design fundamental experience along with what the customers want. And, and most of the time it's simple or it's like the, the other day I had a buddy of mine go, Hey, uh, my, my family's getting together. They're, they're bikers. Uh, and they go, we just kind of want to rip off the, uh, the Jack Daniels logo. Like, okay. Go into easy view, type in whiskey, boom, the layout comes up. I'm able to just double click instead of having to go find the logo, pull it into illustrator, trace everything, redraw all those little gifs or glyphs, uh, and go, go pull the, you know, try to live trace. No, just able to quickly double click customize. They wanted a bird in the middle to make it look a little bit more Leonard Skinner Threw the bird in the middle from a clip art in there. There's this awesome Eagle that looks so sweet. Uh, but I was able to pull that in there in like two minutes. I had a layout that I sent to them and the dude went, how did you do that so fast, dude? That is awesome. And all I said was, I'm a pro. Your customer doesn't need to know Easy View exists. They don't need to know that Transfer Express exists. We want to empower your business to look like you've been in business for 20 years. You have the answers. You have the solutions to your customer's needs. And that's what we're here for. You know, we want to help you guys out. And Easy View is definitely a step in that. So the mock-up tool, before I, I jump off this slide, uh, the mock-up tool right here, you are able to go in there, search a whole bunch of different apparel styles, including a tote bag, uh, and pull this tote bag up there. So if the customer says, and, and really mock-up sell, uh, to be completely honest, uh, screenshotting artwork, it looks like artwork on a screen. As soon as you put it on something tactile, you mock it up on a t-shirt, you mock it up on that tote bag, bam, now you're winning. Now your customer sees it. They envision the final product. They go, this is exactly what I was looking for. This is exactly what I was looking for. Give me my or give me my product. Take my money. Boom. You just closed the sale with that. Uh, Robert asks if there's any metallic shiny colors. You betcha. Shiny is the name of the game. Um, and so we do have metallic goof proof screen printed inks. Uh, we have a, uh, a line of transfers in our screen printed line called Pearl Prints, which are like a matte pearlescent. Really, really cool. Seven different colorways in that. And of course, foil. Uh, which, yeah, glitter, pearl, there's glitter inks too, which is actually just flakes of glitter suspended in uh, clear plastisol ink. Keisha, 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 I hope I'm saying that right. There is no fee for mock-up usage, absolutely free. Part of the free online designer. So you could download these. You could even add a watermark on there and customize the watermark to your business name. If you're worried about your customer taking it and going to another printer uh, or posting online and somebody else stealing it and putting it as their Etsy store, Put a watermark on it. You could put the watermark all right in there. But if you do say like for this, you could click the uh, click the the watermark off. If you want to use this for a product photo on your website or social media, download it. It's going to be perfectly sized to fit most products uh, like the Shopify's, the Etsy, and stuff like that. It'll fit the the pixel dimensions to be easily updatable on that. No need to go download uh, Illustrator, Photoshop, anything like that. No need to pay for any online subscriptions to these catalogs, Canva, anything like that. Easy View is free at your fingertips. You could save designs in there. Yeah, I'm, I've already been on this slide for much, much too long. <laughs> you can tell that I just absolutely am blown away by the capabilities of this online designer. Uh, and I, I, I urge you guys to go play with it if you have not played with it. So uh, free, 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 all free. Really great. Um, so in Easy View, you thought we were away from Easy View. Nope, we're talking about Easy View some more just because it is such an awesome tool uh, to be able to upload your own art into it. I think uh, Antonio or somebody said in there, I don't know in the chat, um, but uh, somebody said like, yeah, you could even ungroup and pull elements out. So I do it all the time, uploading a vector file because you could upload raster artwork, you'd upload vector artwork, you upload whatever you want. Uh, and when you pull it into that, uh, you pull it into the system, that you're able to actually ungroup it and kind of have those same controls that you do in Corel or even Illustrator. So like it is all vector based and you're able to edit those. So one of those is being able to size your designs. So when we talk about sizing your designs to your specific bag, when you get the bag, bust out the ruler. And so, and say, okay, between these two seams, I have a, uh, let's say nine and a half inches, 10 inches. Well, I want at least to stay half inch away quarter inch, uh, maybe, but you want to stay at least a half inch away from any seams or obstructions. So keeping that in. So if it's 10 inches wide between seam to seam for the straps, nine inches, that's exactly the size that you're going to want them. So nine inches for your artwork and then size it right here on the left-hand side in easy view using 
those width and height commands. Now it's all proportional until you check that little checkbox underneath that says don't resize proportionately. And then you can skew the graphic if you want to, but it's going to stay in there. So you're going to be able to size it to nine inches wide. This one's 9.14 inches wide. But whenever you select any element, it's going to tell you the size right there on the left-hand side. Alan, if, if Easy View Online Designer did your taxes, that would be the end all. That would be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> Alan said in the chat, their design center will do everything but your taxes. <laughs> I love, I love hanging out with you guys. It is, I have too much fun on these, on these webinars and I'm glad we could help out. Uh, Lisa says, what a great company. And at that, I mean, I'm here to help your business. Everybody here is help, to help your business grow and succeed. Uh, we dedicate so much of our time and efforts into education and inspiration because we want to see you guys succeed. We are so in tune with the apparel decorating industry and hear from so many different decorators that we share ideas like putting the QR codes on sleeves. Hey, let's go make a video about it because we got to spread the word. This is really cool and a great marketing opportunity to people. So we put everything on our YouTube channel. We do these webinars uh, solely. I mean, I want to help you guys out. It's one of the most rewarding things when somebody comes up and says, you know, you guys really, you guys really helped you, you, you helped my business. I saw this placement thing and it uh, made, uh, I saw the placement and positioning guide on YouTube and like, now I save time, which allows me to spend more time with my family and get the same amount of work done. Or it allows me to take on more work and grow my business. Like it really is. It, it's so awesome. I love hearing the interaction here from you guys. And um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mail some of the handout. Um, yeah. Yeah. We could we could do that. Um, Gabe saying first time joining this, not disappointed. Yeah. So I mean, we're here. We are here to help you guys out. But measuring here in Easy View Online Designer, right here on the left hand side, always telling you, regardless of what size, if you're uploading or designing in the Online Design Center, you could always size your artwork. So once you measure, you measure the space on the bag, know what your capabilities are on your heat press, and bam, you're able to do this. Now we get to application tips. Now, when I said that measuring, uh, you measure on the bag and then you measure the capabilities of your heat press, that's where you're going to kind of be able to fit in with these different platens. If you're going to be using that four by four platen, um, that, no, uh, so I got distracted by a chat here real quick. Terrence says, QR codes, is there a way to make those in EasyView? There is not, but you could easily upload them into EasyView. There's a couple different free options out there to create QR codes uh, that, are completely free, just like creating a barcode, but you don't have to pay anybody for it. Download it as an SVG format, which is going to be a vector format, and you're going to be able to scale that as into any different size. So uh, just a tip there, but you'd easily upload them right into the EasyView online designer. So uh, back to our platen. So I'm talking about sizing. You measured your bag. You know that you have a three by three inch area that you're going to decorate, or the, the, the customer says, I want a three by three inch area. You could use any of these platens. So the four by four is great for those small, super small areas. You see a lot of those used for the left chests or like small bags, onesies, uh, some very, very small stuff like uh, sleeve prints, printing on the on a short sleeve. I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt, but printing on a short sleeve t-shirt, something like that of the four by four is great. Seven inch round bagger is great for those duffel bags. It is made specifically for the, the circle end of a duffel bag where you commonly see the name and number of the player. That that's exactly what that seven inch round platen's made for. The six by 10, another great one. Eight by 10, I think is absolutely perfect for tote bags. If you're really looking to expand into this. And then the 11 by 15 is uh, some, some people's standard size platen, but again, a little bit better for those deluxe totes, the jumbo totes, maybe backpacks, stuff like that, um, where you could get it on there. Now, one thing, as I do want to just mention that these are this, the, these are capabilities that we offer here uh, as only specifically for Hotronics presses. So they are interchangeable platens and it is a huge selling point uh, and a huge benefit of the Hotronics presses that they all come with the quick change platen system. So any Hotronics press or Max press uh, is able to just, you pull this lever, pull the platen right out and you could easily change it in. Now I do want to say that all of these smaller platens, they are a little pricey. They are milled specifically for this use and they are made from custom CNC molds. So like, or they're custom CNC cut for them, uh, but, and they're, they're heavy. They're not going to warp over time. So that's why they cost a little bit of money. Now, if you're just doing a couple runs of bags, maybe 12 pieces, 24 pieces, I wouldn't recommend going out and getting one of these lower platens just because uh, it's great if they are included in a package when you bought your heat press, fantastic to have on hand. But unless you're doing a sizable quantity, I don't want you to, to, you know, blow your entire profit margin on your tote bag job on the 
the platen for the press when you could do it another way, which we're going to get into in just a second. Now, some of these, especially say like that eight by 10, let's use the eight by 10 platen, for example, that you're doing a lot of youth shirts and you're sick of having to kind of raise the print area or finagle them on your heat press because they're just too small to fit on the lower platen that when you switch over to that eight by 10 platen, that makes it more uh, value valuable to your business. So that now you could do those youth shirts on it. You could do those uh, tote bags on it. Do anything you want right on that one platen. Now, I say another way to do it, because I don't want you to spend your money. I want you to be profitable and succeed. Yes, these are awesome capabilities of Hotronics presses, but using other things at your disposal are great. Say you have a cap press. Printing here on this Cotopaxi uh, belt bag, fanny pack, hip pack, whatever you want to call it, makes it super, super easy. Being able to print on that uh, one that we showed you earlier, I actually did that one, the, the go fast, turn left, uh, motorsports graphic that was on that fanny pack, hip pack, belt bag, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> the one on that actually was printed on a, uh, on a hat press. It just made it super easy. But you could also raise the print areas on all of these just by using a mouse pad. Yes, a super cheap white mouse pad made for sublimation. We just don't sublimate on them. Uh, any colored ones we kind of caution against because sometimes because they are polyester and dyed that you'll get some dye migration going into the actual fabric. Uh, say like this tote bag was natural colored and you had a red mouse pad. It's probably going to leave a little red outline on the inside of that bag when you hit it with heat. So the white ones work the best. But just like this, you see just shoved in to inside the tote right on the lower platen is now able to raise the print area above those seams and straps and then you adjust your pressure accordingly. The perfect pressure guide, bam, changing the platens and raising the print area. I said at the beginning of the webinar that Mike was going to put that one in there when we got to it and talking about it. So this is a great guide to have. Mike just threw it in the chat and download those, okay, uh, because it is a great perfect pressure guide to have when you are reducing the print area. So here, uh, this mouse pad, I believe, is nine by nine inches. So uh, perfect for most tote bags. The sizing is absolutely perfect. Uh, but they're cheap. So if you kind of ruin it or you need to have one to print 12, they're like $3. Super, super cheap. You're not having to buy a $40 or $80 platen or however much uh, the platen that you're, you're looking to purchase costs. And now you are still able to profit on whatever quantity of tote bags that you're doing. Now, say those tote bags take off. Like I mentioned my example earlier, the customer who bought a whole bunch of polypropylene reusable grocery bags because they saw the demand was there. Yeah definitely might be worthwhile to invest in one of those platens just because it's going to save you time alone in the long run. It's going to pay for itself in your time alone. Whatever you value your time at, it could be a couple hours, boom, and it's paid itself off. Uh, you know, and that could be, I mean, as, as little as maybe 25 or 30 tote bags, uh, but then, then you have it down for the road um, and everything else. So um, let's see, let's see here. Um, Let's see. I see some chats coming in. I cut my mouse pad up for different areas, Charity says, and that's exactly what they're perfect for when you need to do just that tiny little left chest, or maybe you're doing a little print on the sleeve, or you're doing that hard to decorate pocket print. You could cut these up too. They're cheap. The same with print perfect pads. So the print perfect pads are made specifically. They're essentially another layer of that, that, that closed cell foam uh, that's on the lower platen of the heat press, heat, heat resistant, uh, but those are great but they are a little pricey because they are larger sizes. So the mouse pads are great because they're smaller sizes. And if you cut them up, you're not, if you cut up one of those print perfect pads, your wallet's going to be like, Hey, stop, man, stop. Don't do it. <laughs> but cutting up the mouse pads, there's no remorse. Uh, just scissors right to it. Cut it up to the size that you need to fit inside that pocket or anything else in there. Um, let's see. Uh, Tim says when using a smaller platen and goof proof is the pressure on a uh, chart of two, correct? So eight by 10 is 80 PSI or, 75% to two. Uh, durability is good. Yes, 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 yes. So we say that with, uh, with, for Hotronics presses. So the accurate pressure on those Hotronics presses, uh, that is the guide that we actually tested all of those steps through our 50 plus wash dry cycles. So if you find something that is wrong on it, please let us know and we could correct it. But to our testing and our math, everything was tested, correct, and worked before we released that guide. And that's something that we've been working on for a little bit because Josh Ellsworth put together a little bit of that guide uh, a couple years ago, uh, working through some testing with some apparel partners uh, on some heat-sensitive fabrics that really needed to be careful about the pressure and the uh, 
and the heat to not damage them, uh, but was able to get some great results on that. So we expanded on it, ran through all of the different platen areas. And of course, a mouse pad is going to be different. But when you get down on those heat presses, uh, so like the heat presses that will the fusion uh, that will tell you what your pressure readout is at, the auto clam that tells you what your pressure readout is at, that's what you should be going at, uh, for with your uh, with your pressure readings, which is one thing that I absolutely love about those Hotronics presses is because it tells you there is no guessing because otherwise you're kind of playing with the paper test or like the feel of how it closes, like how the heat press is closing. Like, oh, that was really easy. And then you have to like kind of look like, did it did it close all the way? Is it even making contact? And yeah, sure enough, it is. So it really helps when you have the Hotronics press that's telling you what the pressure readout is. But it's just because the size is so much smaller, it's compensating for that entire surface area. Like the, uh, um, I was talking to somebody, it's kind of like the, uh, they brought up the analogy of a high heeled shoe. So like somebody walking, like I'm walking on a tile floor, ceramic tile floor, I could stand on one leg and be perfectly fine. I'm not going to break anything. I'm, you know, 225 pounds. I could stand on one tile. It's not going to break. But a 120 pound lady could come along with high heels on, put all her weight on one heel and crack that tile. Just because the surface area of how that pressure is dispersed uh, across that entire surface of my shoe versus one tiny little, uh, you know, half inch by half inch point is going to crack that tile because the pressure is so high concentrated to one area. That's very similar. Uh, then that's the best analogy for how these heat presses work. See a lot of questions coming in here. Um, Tim has multiple fusion IQs. One of the best, one of the absolute best. Absolutely love it. Um, Alan had a great tip in there. Um, upsell most uh, short sleeve T orders by applying stock USA flags. Have the Hotronics auto open cap press. I've paid for the cap press by doing so. Never used it for a cap. Those sleeve prints, the inside tags, Alan, that is a great tip. So um, yeah, Mike said that that's a great tip in there. Um, yeah, uh, the replay will not include the links in the chat. So click those now and bookmark them if you uh, want. But we will, uh, we, we'll, we'll send you an email with some of the uh, links that we talked about here today. Um, Ken says, we have a Hotronics 360 IQ hat press having trouble printing any type of transfer outside of the patches. They always melt or do not adhere with the temp as low as possible. Uh, one thing you could try is turning the lower heat off. And it depends on what substrate you're doing too. Uh, sometimes you do have to increase the pressure a little bit more, especially if you're used to using those foam pads for the emblems and patches uh, on the 360 IQ. We do have a video over on the YouTube where I do some foam front trucker hats. Now, some of them, uh, some actual like the, the uh, fabric on the hat doesn't look the best with a screen printed transfer uh, because it has to sit into the fibers with that hard pressure. So it, it, kind of looks, it looks like the fabric and it kind of shows through the fabric of the weave of the hat. Or uh, if there's a seam, if you have that six panel cap that has the seam right down the middle, the transfer is going to sit in that seam and melt into the fibers of the fabric. Like they're made to melt into the fibers of the shirt. So um, we have a video on printing foam front trucker hats, which I do uh, in our YouTube channel. So check that one out. Uh, and if you're still having problems, leave me a chat there and we could, we could continue the conversation specifically to help you out in there. So, uh, Ken, don't want to leave you hanging. Want to help you out. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Antonio. Yes. You could do a free mock-up to share with clients, all in easy view online designer, uh, super, super easy to use. Um, on an online designer, can you show how to add color to a vector design or where it would be located at? It would be located, uh, I don't know if this one here, I'm gonna try to go back in my slides a little bit to the easy view slides. So right here, right above this highlighted area, when you have it selected, a vector design is going to have these color swatches up here as well. So like this one is just black ink. So you see the black color swatch and the, uh, the, the transparent or no ink one with the red line that goes through it and the checkerboard background, that means no ink. So this is two colors, well, it's, one ink color, but two colors total because you have your, your, if say we wanted everything that's filled in to be yellow, we could select that no ink or that show through ink color, change it to yellow and make it a two color print. But this is essentially a one color. We're using one ink, but we have those two ink swatches. So we're able to see that. I hope that helps. Um, I hope that helps, Gabe. That was, that was what you're looking for. We do have how to change colors in that easy view playlist that I mentioned over on transferexpress.com. Now we talked about the mouse pad and it was some proper applications. So I did want to talk to you about the application kit. Mike could throw a link right here in the chat section over on the right-hand side. Um, yeah, Gabe got one in there. Awesome. Absolutely fantastic. But the application kit, uh, 
really helps you dial in your heat press. Uh, there's some heat press test strips, which are $20 by themselves. So that's already $20 of this $35 kit. We'll give you a t-shirt to practice on along with a goof proof screen printed transfer that uh, one of those mouse pads that we talked about. So kind of packed with some, uh, some potential there to raise your print area and get some accurate pressure, the t-shirt application ruler. So if you're looking at, uh, you know, a way to speed up your own placement on making sure that your t-shirts are in the right area, boom, right there, an application poster chart with all of our different screen printed transfer types uh, and our full color transfer types. So just at a glance, you could reference it. Uh, I say always check the instructions. That is one caveat that you don't have to check the instructions. Just go right there. A $10 off coupon. So now if the test strips are 20 bucks by themselves to accurately test the pressure, the heat of your heat press. Now I do love the test strips the best because they measure the temperature with the pressure of the press closed. So they feel and measure the temperature exactly the same way that a transfer is going to feel it. Uh, the IR thermometers, the little guns that you just point and like how everybody was taking our temperatures during the pandemic, you could just point a higher quality one and made for higher temperatures at, uh, at your heat press platen and get a good idea, but your heat press is open. So it's losing a lot of heat. And they're always going to be, I always found those to be about 15 to 20 degrees off, uh, high or low in either way, just because of the nonstick coating on the platen uh, refracts and uh, the IR light. So it's not getting the best, uh, the best reading back to the camera on there. Kelly from Louisiana. Hello. Um, and then... Uh, yeah, so something like that. Those test strips are absolutely the best way. We give you a $10 off coupon. So we're already taking $30, $35 off of this. If $10 back on your next order uh, and those heat press test strips are 20 bucks. For five bucks, you're getting a mouse pad, a t-shirt, an application ruler, an application poster. And behind my head is a whole pack of cover sheets. So a nice little reusable cover sheet pack um, setting you up for uh, some great application use. And this is just a kit that we have. I wanted to mention it's $35 over on transferexpress.com uh, to help you apply uh, your any type of transfer better uh, and more accurately. But guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I know we went a little bit over our hour timeline that I was aiming for, but I want to be able to help you guys out. That's the thing uh, that we had a lot of great questions here in this webinar that I was hopefully able to answer accurately for you. I saw Mike was fast and furious over there in the uh, in the chat section, and I love the tips from you guys too. Um, Gabe asking about the online designer and Alan talking about how he upsells the t-shirts with putting the sleeve prints on uh, those with just a cap press. So adding the fanny packs and the bags is super easy using that same equipment that's already existing in Alan's shop and that awesome tip to help upsell. Cause that, I mean, if you have the job, <coughs> you got the hard part out of the way. So you have the job, you got a t-shirt in the shop. Now say, Hey, for just a little bit more, I could throw on some tote bags. Looks like these are for a farmer's market. Or, hey, this is for the, the kindergartners on their orientation day. How about we get some tote bags on it, too? They only cost $2 more. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's a great idea. Wait, only $2? We can put the same image on there. And if you're using the same image that was going on the tees, you just bump the quantity up and the pricing for everything just dropped. So the pricing per piece, of course, with any screen printing, the more you order, the cheaper it gets. So... You just bump the quantity up, double the quantity. Now you're paying half the amount of the transfers that you were paying for. So really, really great stuff to put in there. But I want to thank you guys for hanging out today. Um, Subba says, can you send a variety of bags you have? You could actually go, just go browse uh, over on transferexpress.com. Uh, go browse uh, all of those bags and add them to cart if you want. There's no minimums to buy. Uh, you just have to pay for shipping if you're under uh, a certain threshold of dollars. I know it just changed, so I don't want to be, I don't want to say the wrong thing. Uh, but it says right there, free shipping on orders of so-and-so or more. Uh, but you could get those bags and have those and, and check out. Um, how about a discount on the application kit? Terrence, we are, I usually, I was able to, to uh, a couple webinars ago, I, 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 this is going to be embarrassing, but I went a little fast and loose and said that I would go in and manually discount the shipping on all of those orders and I got in trouble for it. So maybe next time. I'm going to do one on the marketing kit though, coming up because just next, next week, we're starting to build the 2023 kits. Um, so I'm going to do a special on one of those webinars coming up. So if anybody from corporate is listening, shh, you didn't hear that earmuffs. There's no discounts, no discounts on anything. Guys, there's going to be discounts on the marketing kit. Okay. <laughs> Coming at one one of these webinars coming up, but um, I always love to be able to help you guys out. Uh, Keisha, if you want a sample pack, head on over to transferexpress.com. Uh, look at free tramples and marketing or free free samples. No, click on custom transfers, click on marketing tools, and you'll see a free samples one in there. 
um, that we're able to do. Uh, so that one is absolutely free to send. You could quest, request a specific sample sample set, or if you just click on the mini sample set, it's going to be a little mini sample pack of everything. Uh, if you haven't done anything, uh, that, uh, if you never signed up with us, if you just sign up for a brand new account at transfer express, we will send you that mini sample set automatically. Uh, Tim for the 23 kit. Yes. When the 23 kit is available, we are building it. I got to say it is the best marketing kit that we have ever made. I don't want to hype it up too much, but it looks fantastic. All of the samples our design team worked so hard on, and they are so trendy, and they are like exactly what you see on the shelves at Target. So you have this t-shirt business in the box coming up that is going to start 23 off like you are a trendsetter. Like you have been living in the year 2023. Uh, and you're going to tell your customers what's going to work the best for them uh, and what's what styles and trends and uh, ink colors and stuff like that, that Saginaw Park Jazz Fest one. One of the designs that's in that marketing kit uh, and just it's it is so valuable to have. We've seen so many people and heard from so many people say, I got the T-shirt business in a box, went out and it paid for itself in one job. One person I talked to brought them the idea book that was customized to my name, browsed some artwork, and they were like, this is way better of an experience than I've ever had with any other printer who actually had artwork and didn't seem like it was an inconvenience to them. Spoiler alert, it's not an inconvenience to you at all. It takes two seconds to put that artwork in there. But you're able to close those sales almost immediately. The mock-up tool in the EasyView Online Designer and all of those full-size display transfers, you could start your business today. Get a marketing kit, print those samples that are in the marketing kit, and you have the capabilities of a shop that looks like it's been in business for 10 years. It's great. It makes you trustworthy. It helps you have the solutions that your customers are looking for. Uh, and yes, it, it's coming soon. Only a couple weeks away. We got everything in from the printers. Uh, just, I think it's still coming in now, but we got everything all set up uh, and it's getting ready to get all kitted and those will be coming soon. So as soon as those are available, uh, the next webinar we have, they probably will be available because I think the next one we're going to take uh, the the week of Christmas off or the week of Christmas Eve off. We're doing a Facebook live or a YouTube live on a TikTok live. We're doing a live uh, that same Thursday uh, to announce our winners of that brand new heat press. I almost forgot the heat press, the heat press that we're giving away for free. Go on over, uh, go on over to transferexpress.com or go on over to our YouTube channel and see that video that says win a heat press win that heat press. We're giving away a free heat press, a free 2023 marketing kit as we're talking about those marketing kits and a hundred dollar product credit to Transfer Express. So three prizes, there's gonna be three winners. It takes two seconds to enter. Uh, and like Wayne Gretzky said, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So um, we do not have a tumbler press. We mostly stay focused on, uh, on fabric and apparel here. Um, David, we do sell the... Um, we do sell the mouse pads. They're on heat press accessories. So if you are at transferexpress.com, go over to heat presses, click on accessories, and you'll see the mouse pads there. They are three. Uh, Yari, you do not need, well, yes, you do need to order six of the same artwork to make an order for our screen printed transfers. But if you want to put a whole bunch of artwork together, <clears throat> switch over to Ultra Color Max. You could still, you could print full color, gradients, fades, photorealism, but if you just need a few quantity of just white, one color, uh, and a few different designs, fill out an entire 22 by 22 inch sheet. I think it's like 28 or 29 bucks if you max out that whole size. The minimum is 25, so I think that's like a 20 and a half by a 20 and a half sheet. It's all price per square inch, so don't fill it up if you don't need to use it all or you need to buy multiple quantities. Say you need to do like three of them on a 12 by 12. That's probably going to hit that that threshold uh, to be over that minimum quantity. But uh, if you're going to if you're under that 25, just add more stuff to the sheet. Get free printing essentially uh, on there. <clears throat> say he says, I wish Hotronics has a tumbler press. I will pass that along to Hotronics and see if they're going to be working on something like that. Because we've seen a lot of those tumbler presses come out and the mug presses, and a lot of them are very very cheap quantity. So uh, yes, yes on that. Um, Let's see. Robert says, thank you. Seriously, considering to start making stuff myself instead of using Shopify China. Absolutely. Now, one thing with that, we've heard a lot of people who brought apparel printing in-house because they were sick of outsourcing their profits. If you use Shopify or a print-on-demand surface, the print fold, or any print-on-demand, yeah, it's great. You could do zero work, but you're also giving them all of your profit. You are making 20% at the most of the profit that you're able to make if you were doing it yourself. And you'd be surprised. Uh, how many creators use heat presses to fulfill hundreds of orders a day 
from their Etsy shop. It's zero. It's very low risk. Your only initial investment is a heat press. You order the blanks and the, the transfers when you drop a new product line or when the order comes in. So you don't even have to invest a whole bunch of money into your setup. Make it so super easy to make profitable apparel uh, for just a couple minutes of your time. Just put a TikTok out the other day uh, where I printed with Ultra Color Max, I printed 52 shirts in 36 minutes, like with distractions. You can see in the video, it's super sped up time lapse. But like in the video, people came up to me and talked to me several times as I was just printing away, printing away. So 52 shirts in 36 minutes. If nobody distracted me, I would have been able to hit 100 shirts in just an hour. Like, come on, the profitability of that. If we're making 100% profit or cost times two, so we're making 100% profit of the cost of every shirt that we're touching. Say that those shirts cost $6 in cost to make, $3 for the print, $3 for the blank, $4 for the for the blank, $2, so $6. We're selling each one of those shirts for 12 bucks. That's super low for a t-shirt. That's like a wholesale, wholesale price. So like being able to do all that, so 100 shirts, we're making $6 on. Like, come on. Yeah, we're talking a lot of money you can make per hour. It's absolutely awesome. But guys, thank you. I don't want to hang out. I don't, I don't want to keep you keep you too much today. Um, yeah, Tim brought the printing in-house, never looked back. Way to go, Tim. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Best place to get bulk apparel, Tiffany, uh, is going to be uh, Transfer Express. If you don't have a tax ID and a business license, if you do have a reseller's license and a business license, uh, I would wholeheartedly recommend to check out Sanmar. Sanmar is my favorite apparel supplier just because they have a warehouse down here in Cincinnati, Ohio. So we're a one day transit time, but it is absolutely there. The selection is huge. They carry district and next level and Bella canvas and American apparel and anything you could ever look for, but you need to be a verified reseller. You need to own a legitimate business uh, registered with your state to be able to be able to order from them. But if you don't have that, definitely transferexpress.com, the way to do it. Um, where do I do gang sheets? Antonio, you could do gang sheets right in transferexpress.com in the Easy View Online Designer. Just group stuff together. You'll see a dotted line on the page and you're able to gang sheet anything on there. So group any artwork on there uh, and you are only charged per sheet. So the more ink you use, the less ink you use does not vary your price. So please take full advantage of us and fill that sheet up with as much art as possible. If you have any vacant space on the sheet, I always recommend sleeve prints. Little, little tiny sleeve prints, the upper back prints with just your logo or inside tag prints, the branding potential and the marketing potential of that extra branding spot is just absolutely incredible. So, yep, I see Mike do that too. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out here today. Um, I, uh, yeah, say uh, the coupon does not expire. Uh, the coupon stays applied to your account pretty much in perpetuity. So as long as you log in, you remember your credentials, it's going to be applied to your next order. Uh, so that will go in. Um, but guys, email us anytime, info at transferexpress.com. You could call 1-800-622-2280, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, head on over to our blog and make sure you're subscribed over on our YouTube page and enter to win that heat press. That contest is going on now until December 22nd, 2023. If you see that uh, contest or if you're watching the replay of this down the road uh, and it's still December of 2022, you could probably still enter if it's past December of 2022. I'm sorry you did not win a heat press. Sorry to break it to you, but you can still go to transferexpress.com, register for a free account and get some free stuff. But guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Uh, we'll be back in, uh, I think after the holidays. So if this is the last time I see you, Kathy, I'm looking at you. Happy holidays and have a wonderful season. I hope you and the family have a great time. And that goes to everybody too, not just Kathy. I just, Kathy's, Kathy's our buddy now. We, we hung out in, uh, in Fort Worth at the show. And if you want to hang out with me, we're going to be doing Long Beach in January. It's just a great time to see everything in the apparel business and what it has to offer. You might find a new vendor or a new partner or a new idea for your business to take it to the next level. Uh, and it's a nice vacation, at least for us here in Ohio, to go out to California, sunny Southern California in the middle of January uh, to get a break from our cold Midwestern winters. Guys, thank you so much for joining us today. And I will catch you at the next one. Happy pressing.